life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed god will hand to us the keys that will not only help us to rise above it but help the people in our families to rise above it praise the lord if i look at the baby that shalhoma is holding and i call that baby an adult i can argue based on whatever scientific fact I can choose to even say she's not holding a baby whether I decide based on my perception to assume she's not holding a baby or not the truth remains the truth are you getting what I'm saying the Bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth there are certain realities as far as our work with God and our work in the kingdom is concerned that if we do not pay attention to and sustain the grace to be able to bring those things under the feet of Jesus we will live absolutely defeated lives and one of it is what I'm going to be teaching you tonight dominion over curses Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 very interesting scripture please give us that scripture Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 i want us to read it as loud and clear if you are a child of god ready one to read one more time stop what does it mean and they are not they are what that means they have left the scene something started with them and their presence departed from the scene but whatever that something is the bible says and we have done what the word born there is the word inherited our fathers have sinned and are not it was only fair that whatever trouble will go with them but the bible says we have born their iniquity i hope you know the bible says all scripture was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Holy men wrote, right? As they were moved by the Spirit. The second scripture I want us to look at is Proverbs 26 verse 2. And then we we'll begin to establish a few things. Proverbs 26 verse 2. I want us to read one to read. As the bird by wandering as the swallow by flying read please so the cause causeless <sighs> look look at this. this this i'm already laughing because i don't know how many of you went to school but i think that this was written in basic english so the cause causeless shall not come in other words if it comes there is a cause the condition for it not being there is that nothing caused it. That means the presence of any kind of predicament is a sign that it was intentionally initiated. The Bible says there is a law, and this is the law, that the, a cause, causeless, shall not come. It didn't say shall not stand. It will never even manifest in the first place. So the fact that it was able to appear in the scene of your destiny, regardless of what caused it, this law was properly obeyed for it to find expression. 
it says a cause causeless shall not stand it shall not come there are so many believers who do not understand the laws of the kingdom and the systems of God like we have been discussing here this is part of accessing spiritual intelligence and um, we confess so many things we do not understand in the body of Christ and we are largely victims of situations and circumstances there are so many people who do not even believe that there is such a phenomenon in the dealings of men in the earth called a system where men can experience what the Bible calls a cause the word sounds insulting the word sounds antichrist the word sounds degrading but it's interesting to know that the first person who used it in the Bible was God The first person to reveal to us that there is a possibility that a man's life can be programmed to experience woes was not even Satan. It was God Almighty. Now think about this. God himself is using something. Are we believers? Ah, look at you looking at me as if you left your Bible one year ago. Is it not in your Bible? When man fell, the Bible says, and the Lord God had the voice. I mean, and they had the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day, correct? And he came and said, Adam, where art thou? And Adam said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, who told you you were naked? Then he said, the woman. This madam you have kept close to me did this and that and that. And because of her, I got into trouble. Woman, what is this that you have done? She said, the serpent. And he turned to the serpent. And the Bible clearly, clearly tells us, number one, the serpent was cursed. That he would crawl on his belly and he shall feed upon the dust of the earth. Correct? Then God turned to the woman and made another pronouncement of pain in childbirth. Then God turned to the earth, innocent earth, and said, Cursed are you for the sake of the man. Thorns and thistles shall begin to come out, and in the sweat of thy brow. That's the mystery of hardship. God, using that same statement, the second experience was with a man called Cain. When Cain killed his brother, and then God called on Cain, where is your brother? I said, am I my brother's keeper? And God said that the blood of the brother crieth from the earth. And then he cursed Cain. Correct? And when he listed those curses, a fugitive and a vagabond shall you be? And Cain turned and even negotiated. Remember in one of our teachings we explained that. And he said, no, 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 no. Whoever sees me, whoever sees me, whether he has no business killing me or not, something upon me will force him to want to kill me. And God said, all right, I will put a mark. Without that mark, anyone can kill you. So it's not about who kills. It's about what is making them want to kill you. Listen carefully. Please follow me tonight. You are going to learn a lot. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. It's like saying every time you see water in this bottle, it was intentionally put. It cannot just appear. Write this down. What is a cause? Ah! Looked around and suddenly realized That you've been so good to me Your mercy is everlasting Undenying You are mindful of Who am I That you hear my cry When I call you 
Who am I that you want to love? Yeah. Who am I? You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. You're the source of my strength, not you. The strength of my life, not you. My hope and my joy, not you. My confidence, not you. That means the operation of a course cannot be studied intellectually. You must be able to study from the standpoint of the realm of the spirit. A course is a mystery. The second thing I want you to know about a course is that a course is a spiritual force. A course, listen carefully, is a spiritual force. A cause is a spiritual force. Are we together? Number three, a cause has magnetic characteristics. Like you're talking magnetism, an attracting power. It can attract certain things to its victim. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. Let's take it very carefully tonight. A cause is a mystery. A cause is a spiritual force. Then a cause is magnetic. It has an attracting power. Number four. A cause is always negative in its manifestation. A cause is always negative in its manifestation there's no such thing as positive cause no what is a cause a cause is an invocation a cause is an invocation comma a programming a cause is an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities to the life of its victim a cause is a what an invocation a programming that is designed to attract woes and calamities pay attention and listen carefully in the life of its victim it always has negative effects on the life of its victim a cause can be made manifest in the life of a person through utterances let's be very fast utterances and pronouncements utterances and pronouncements the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that utterances and pronouncements have prophetic implications whether from the positive dimension or the negative dimension every time an utterance is made the Bible tells us it has an effect that is supported from the realm of the spirit. 
that every time I open my mouth to utter an utterance the Bible tells us whether it was done in ignorance or it was done intelligently that there is a support system in the realm of the spirit that helps to back the outcome of that pronouncement so the Bible says say not before an angel I made a mistake Causes can find expression through written words. This is largely seen in, not much of this is understood in Christianity. But when you study world religions, you find out that there are many religions that um, work like a legal system. They have from slates to books to mantras to manuals and all kinds of things. And all of these gadgets and these documents are a system and whenever they are invoked in a certain dimension and a manner they have capacity to program wars upon the life of the people these are the basic ways that the Bible reveals to us that a cause can be communicated to an individual now very quickly what is the character of a cause i'm being very I'm, I'm talking tonight like a lecturer because i want us to pray and i really want everybody to understand this it is easy to know that a territory listen carefully maybe let me change the word and call it a siege let me change the word and call it woes so that it will psychologically relate to you but the name is a cause if I change the name, it's only for your comfort, not to change the reality. It is called a cause. Are we together? Our idea of a cause is someone who offends you, then you make a pronouncement in anger and it brings a cause. No, no. It is that idea that makes us feel guilty. Say, no, 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 I didn't offend anybody. No. In this world, once you are alive, you have to find out what happened before you. Because you can be a victim of a story that predates your existence. Are we together now? It is easy to know that a personality, a family, a territory is under a cause. The first indication of the presence of a cause in a life and a family is patterns repetition of negative patterns that seem to veto the individual's prayer life that seem to veto the individual's supposed spiritual activities please pay attention patterns patterns the classic indication of curses and blessings in the bible is patterns patterns the same way the same way you can know that a man, a place, an individual is blessed. There is a track record of frequent happenings regardless of the condition. Are we together? Yeah. So we look at the life of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the Israel of God, and we see a pattern. Everyone who spoke against them was judged by God. There was something upon them. Every time they violated his dictates, they were given to their enemies. It was a pattern. Patterns are very common in the lives of people. Now, we just pretend that they are not there. You see, let me tell you something. One of the major reasons why people do not rise in power and faith, listen carefully, is because of insincerity. When you want to approach spiritual things, you must be open-hearted and sincere. Are we together? Your heart must be broken and contrite. This pattern ranges from all kinds and it happens everywhere. There are patterns as far as finances are concerned. There are patterns as far as family lives are concerned. You turn and look around the average family in Africa. And you will know that there are patterns. Now pay attention and follow me to the end of the lecture. 
Don't be quick to just say, no, 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 no. But it doesn't exist. I think I did something about it. A cause, causeless. If it still remains, the cause is there. A cause, causeless. A cause, causeless. If I have a boil in my hand and I go to doctor, if I come to you and I have a boil in my hand, you will tell me that this boil is a reaction, it's an effect of something. Is that true? The boil is showing that something is wrong. So the cause is not the failure. The failure is a message. The patterns are a message. They are not the cause. The cause is spiritual. The cause is an atmosphere. It's like a cloud. It's like a mantle that an individual can carry. Has capacity to break barriers. Has capacity to follow you. It can pursue a man. It can overtake a man. The Bible personifies a cause. In Deuteronomy 28, you see that he spoke to them. A list of blessings and then causes. He said it will pursue you and overtake you. Travel to London. Travel to UK. Travel to your village. Go to school. Marry. Be wherever. It can follow you. It has that capacity. That limitless ability. A quality only given to spiritual things. A cause is not failure. A cause is not barrenness. A cause is not retrogression. All those things are messages. They are symbols that signify the presence of such an atmosphere upon a man. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Joshua chapter 7. Let's look at it very quickly. Something interesting happened there. We'll read verse 1, then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. Joshua chapter 7, verse 1, and then we'll jump to verse 10 to 12. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in the accursed thing. For Achan, the son of Kami, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took of what? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against who who carried something god was angry against help me now I, there's a revelation i want to show you who participated in the loot help me did they loot as a congregation did he consult them to loot the bible says he smuggled an item that he was prohibited to carry correct and then what happened the anger of the lord was kindled against who verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou toss upon thy face because they were defeated a small city defeated them and Joshua went to God Israel had who sinned it never said Achan had sinned we are Bible students it never said Achan had sinned he said Israel had sinned and they have transgressed my covenant which i commanded them for they have even they 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 have even taken of their costing and have also stolen and dissembled also and they have put it even among their own stuff verse 12. therefore the children of israel could not stand before their enemies but turn their backs before their enemies why they started by taking something at cost and in verse 12 they themselves were one man whose eyes saw something and he said no i can't let this thing go like that and he smuggled it quietly and put it in his pocket and god was watching and god said israel you have seen and all of them think of the innocent people that died in the war they were all preparing Oh, God will give us, I mean, if God gave us Jericho, what is AI? A small town. And in their midst, someone smuggled an item. And all of a sudden, they went to battlefield. Imagine them moving warriors. And they were utterly defeated. And Joshua, the embarrassment was too much. And he went back to God crying. And God said, stand up, please. This is not the issue of prayer. You need to understand. I need to give you understanding. Don't just lie down crying for nothing. He said, Israel has sinned. 
they took something and by this time he said they themselves were a cause he said neither will i be with you anymore except he destroyed the accords from among you the accords was no longer a thing but a person accords is real i wish they were not i would have just told you i was joking let's be serious now accords is real don't you see them in your family i know you act like they are not there don't you see them around listen carefully don't you see them in the life of pastors don't you see them in the life of apostles, prophets, great people? A cause does not mean you are a sinner. Write it down. You have to get this. A sinner like one possessing the name. Listen, listen. I want to teach you something. Just pay attention. Whatever you don't understand, just keep following. A cause is not necessarily a symbol that an individual personally sinned against God. there are many families there are many individuals carrying things in their lives that they can laugh around and pretend in church that this thing does not exist it doesn't happen but we are watching with our eyes remember the bible says a cause causeless shall not come meaning if it comes don't just probe the effect what is the cause back to my boil example so i have a boil and my hand is swollen and i run to the doctor and say doctor help me and the doctor looks at it and smiles and says ah your white blood cells are fighting something are we together now they are fighting something or um what they call this thing fever sign ah pastor jt good to see you i didn't realize it was him hallelujah and then fever sign and then he tells me that that fever sign is a sign that there's war somewhere. When others are feeling cold, you are feeling hot. Correct? You try to stand in the sun, you start feeling cold again. You don't know what is wrong with you. That reaction is a sign that a war is going on somewhere. Whoever wins, you will soon know. If you don't recover, it's a sign you are not winning. And that means you must seek assistance. And the doctor will say, okay, I need to introduce something in your life and then he introduces something and all of a sudden things start changing and you cannot enter your body to know whether you are winning so you use the absence of that evidence as a sign that you are recovering all of a sudden listen a boil that refused to go you put rub it refused to go you put local herbs are we together palm oil it refused to go immediately you know something is wrong this is not sometimes it can even mock you and go and come out or come out somewhere else the boy is saying it doesn't matter where i come out i can come out anywhere for as long as what is causing it is still there but when the doctor explains to you the issue is not the boil the issue is and sometimes he will not even ask you to bust it he introduces something to your system then a boil causeless starts dry you watch it dry and it disappears and within a week you never believe anything is there then you now confirm by the absence of that thing that it is gone so don't sit down and tell me no boil is swelling we are all watching it grow you say no boil we are seeing it we are not stupid a cause causeless shall not stand you may not appreciate this because somebody is paying your bills now you may not appreciate this because no matter how careless you are you don't sow but somebody's harvest is paying for you so you are thinking you are the one sowing a day will come you will be exposed to a reality where you will now see that your life is dependent on the outcome of your understanding there are patterns that should not happen to believers if they are happening something should be dealt with it should not be ignored it should be understood and dealt with brothers and sisters hear me i tell you the truth by the authority of the lord jesus christ causes are real yes they are yes they are there are families today that 
all the men in that family never move forward they never rise they never become anything Ejimi, the men do not have to be irresponsible they are sincere people very sincere people there are families where every month per year somebody must die regardless of how sincere they are loving people it can even be after a church service on their way back they die after a prayer meeting rattling in tongues for hours you can't say they don't love god there are families if a man looks at you and says i love you even that man what will happen to him that night he will never repeat that statement again now he doesn't know why you too you don't know why you think the issue is okay am i too fat let me be on a diet no you are trying to rub palm oil on our boil remember our story i know many hard-working men hey, Jimmy, they have been working in their 20s sincere godly people till today they are begging there are people who start building 20 years it has not reached LinkedIn level no brothers and sisters we are intelligent how many graduates you see in a family seven graduates the only employed person in that family is a driver are they so stupid they are not lazy they will tell you they are not lazy most times we think it's because they are unserious and people erroneously say just forget it's just that they are not hard working please be careful some of you as you are sitting now if you are to be sincere you know things are not all right there are families when you give birth to people things happen there are pastors hey Jimmy, they refuse to deal with these things and they get into ministry anointed remember my story born again filled with the holy spirit working miracles but still oppressed by demons i went to people quietly and i said what is wrong they said don't don't worry man let me tell you i don't think there are few people here that quote scriptures more than me the demons didn't respect it shocking call the name of jesus nothing happened how do you call the name of jesus on a crusade ground and somebody is walking out of a crutch and you call it for your life and nothing happens I knew I needed to understand something. Your victory starts when you are humble. When you have, you say, no, no, no. There has to be a puzzle to this equation. It can be God. Mysterious sicknesses. There are people today carrying hepatitis, A, B, and whatever. It's, they don't have, when you go to the hospital and say, I have hepatitis, they ask you who had it in your family even genetics support the reality of transgenerational transference there is such a possibility the fact that you look like your father should teach you something about the realm of the spirit the fact that you look like your mother and your born again did not change your facial appearance is a spiritual reality something listen something should tell you that this thing is real now, you better trust the holy spirit all of us men of god are not older than you by more than 20 30 years the holy spirit is an ancient spirit is god's own spirit he was there when this thing started hallelujah a curse causeless shall not stand i have watched sincere people a jimmy bound sincerely there are pastors today as anointed as whatever you look at them you think it's the holy spirit no growth no increase and it's not only ministry it's a pattern anointed born again nothing happens no growth no increase how many people have they thrown away from they went to us just when they went they went with complete papers as soon as they were vetting people one got missing and you know that they didn't hear said look let me explain to you my papers were complete they said come and explain to your embassy in nigeria and they drive them down what of all these devilish things that fly around people's body fibroid lump hiv
answer see it killing men now once a man is 45 years old he starts getting afraid ask the doctors they will tell you prostate cancer once people start getting to 45 46 they are now they are now afraid because of cancer once a lady is approaching 28 29 even doctors start saying marry fast though because any moment from now and every stranger will start growing so once you are 30 and you are not married they will tell you look there's no room to hearing god just hurry up and get all your children fast how many do you plan to have five you need at least 10 years hurry up and catch up it's nonsense the devil is a liar this night patterns how about barrenness a trace of it how about fruitfulness but that not productive you give birth to 10 children all of them are useless there are patterns the ladies must get pregnant out of wedlock before the wedding. now they are innocent and the condition that leads to the pregnancy is the same thing that happened to someone else they don't know themselves but it happened I have counseled people like that brothers and sisters there is such a thing as that and tonight God wants to show us that there is a system in the kingdom where people can have dominion it is not just about what Christ has done it is that we can be alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in our heart we have claimed things that we don't know anything about let me tell you something about ministry in Zaria that you do not know I think it was you Sam I was talking to Minist the lifespan of successful ministry in Zaria is three years you are a ministry in Zaria if you survive three years you know the mystery of continuity after three years something must arise attempting to rubbish your life a scandal are we together one kind of failure something will just evolve out of nowhere there are so many people especially music artists They've risen from Zaria. Men of God risen from Zaria. But you don't know where they are today. You see a musician just appears. And for six months he's been invited everywhere. And after that you just go still. Next. We are waiting for the next person. <laughs> yeah. There is a level the devil pegs men. And pegs their destiny. You never rise beyond a level. There are families is defined for as long as you oscillate within that ambient of relevance it's okay but try to cross it that line will draw you back and say are you blind don't you see that there's a long line are we together men don't live beyond certain times the moment you are 35 death comes see i saw this pattern in my own extended family the only person in my father's family that is alive now is him and one of his sisters. I've shared it with you. Very sincere people. None of them died a good death. Mysterious sicknesses that will rubbish your life and none of them ever rose to certain levels. Some of your fathers are like that. They started working from 22 as it is now if you send them five thousand they will kneel down and say thank you it's a cause it's a cause some of you are in school as students but they are calling you from home anything for this month you say mommy just take it easy we keep laughing and say there is nothing wrong see let me tell you you don't deal with it you marry it follows you there you don't deal with it you because as you are marrying, once you are standing with your necktie, two of you are bringing everything you represent and you move into the house. Do you know this is why people erroneously call people witches and wizards? It is because they are open to the prophetic, but because they do not have the accurate understanding of the word of God, they see the spirit that is behind that activity and mistaking it for the individual carrying it out. So they say, no, 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 no. And truly what they are saying is not a lie. They say your trouble started from the day this lady, one lady come. All of a sudden, you said you will marry her. You now got married. You were a millionaire. In five months, five months, 
you are looking for 10,000 to buy a new shoe mysterious things happen your first car got missing the second car police police caught it the third car is somewhere else your truck capsided like that the driver slept off listen and your life is reduced back and then you now go to a man of god i'm not i'm not talking against men of god you know i love the body of christ but you go somewhere and then the man genuine man of god now looks and says ah who do you marry Tosi. <laughs> thank god you are even still alive it is just an example darling just an example are we together now give me your hand now. run away from me you have to deny me now to sin. be nice to me be a nice wife are we together and then the man you see men will consult quietly they will announce in public is the anger you see publicly the man now returns home good evening darling or honey say see let me tell you I am throwing everything out of my life that is causing me failure. He stops eating your food because he believes that eating your food is why he's now having high blood pressure. And this lady is sincere. She loves God. Are we together now? And they cannot... Why will you call such a nice woman a witch? She may not be a witch, but she's connected to something that is causing that effect. Plus the one you are now bringing. We have not even talked about the one on the man. Hybrids of different formulas that are as a result of different spiritual things. And you find out that things don't work in people's lives. That's why in certain villages, they even apportion certain regions and tell you they are what? Cost. It doesn't happen in your village. Where they isolate a group of people and say these people, whoever marries will either die or something and sincerely speaking you will go and marry out of bold face and say love is love love is blind and Jimmy said marriage will open your eyes you now go and get married and find out that after the marriage two weeks after the marriage you are not hearing again one month after the marriage you can't walk again you see that tell me why a man who has been working in the civil service for 30 years should not have up to 1 million in his account? How many children grew up with him? Two children, he's still poor. There are families, win lottery, get anything, they will still be poor. It has nothing to do with money. It's a system. Listen, the system of causes outlive those who caused it. It can outlive it. The primary purpose of a cause is to create a system for transgenerational allegiance transgenerational allegiance allegiance to deities ultimately an allegiance to satan a system to create transgenerational allegiance our grandmothers and great grandmothers you hear of one woman giving birth to 14 children never went to a hospital no cs out of those 14 children one was a set of twins one was a set of triplets and truly she gave birth to them in the midst of fire and you still see her a mother of 13 children standing her stomach is as straight as an arrow no fibroid no nothing why because before the delivery there is a priest who asks the god and say remember just like we agreed we have been serving you half of our guinea corn is hanging on the tree in respect to your demands so whatever look upon that guinea corn and that goat that disappeared and please this woman now all of a sudden missionaries had passion but no intelligence they came to africa now we love the missionaries but don't forget that they were very limited people say they died of malaria I, are you are you with what you know now was it malaria that really killed them they didn't die of malaria malaria was the servant like a tray that carried that charm you just come in and all of a sudden you organize a crusade and say stop worshiping this deity 300 years old of worship and allegiance you have the gods to bring the head bring everything 
burn it <laughs> and an old woman is just looking at you and pitying you jesus saves jesus heals they leave you quietly because they know that ignorance can alienate a man from the life of god and the moment you finish first you die all the followers die the remaining return and they say look this thing does not work if i didn't know this i would have been a failure all my life are we together i have seen this thing happen with all humility i don't know how many of my extended people especially from my paternal side that i can look and say this person is successful today no no Causes can come directly from God. <laughs> directly from God. This is not the cause of the law. The cause of the law is not the, all the cause there is in the Bible. Directly from God. Number two, causes can be transgenerational. Products of ancestry. What we call ancestral causes. There is such a thing as ancestral causes there is such a thing number three self-inflicted causes self-inflicted causes there are programmings that can come upon the lives of people which is a product of self-infliction The cause that we call the cause from God is what I also call a sinner's cause. Every sinner is under a cause. Everyone who has not acknowledged Jesus Christ, please hear me carefully, as his Lord and Savior, believe it or not, you are under a cause. You are under a cause. What is the cause? The dominion of evil perpetually remains above you is a cause the moment you are not in Christ you qualify for the very cause that is upon creation that from dust thou art and to dust thou shall return that thorns and thistles shall come upon your ground and with the, the sweat of your brow shall you feed there is a cause that is upon creation it cannot be taken away you can only be exempted from it hear me please that is the reason why the old earth will be purged there is a reason why fire will purge this earth there is a reality that is hanging upon this earth right now individuals born by default in sin did my mother conceive me he says and you are a victim of it mortality is a cause that came with creation there is such a possibility that a man can extend his life. You can access the reality of God's life. Failure, the cause. If you are not in Christ, listen, you are not in Christ, you qualify for the sinner's cause. It's not something bad. It's not even about what you did. It's a reality. God's own pronouncement upon creation as a result of men alienating his ways. And then I said number two, ancestral causes. Ancestral causes are products of violating the terms and agreements. Products of violating the terms and agreements that constituted the basis for mutual relationship between men and deities. There was such a provision in Africa as a continent where men fraternize with deities you see that in ancient Babylon you see that in Egypt the sun god Ra alongside thousands of other gods 
there was a very intelligent spiritual system of fraternity with them an agreement a covenant courses operate on legal grounds they don't operate by mistake they operate on legal grounds there is a legal system in the kingdom and don't forget righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne a system that God is obliged to honor who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will that's the liberty he's bringing to you tonight who can stand against my king no one can no one will oh When you walk out of this, many of you will begin to see things change in your life in remarkable ways. Remarkable ways. Your prayer life will be so reduced to only worship because you will search around and see that there are no issues of concern again. There is such a possibility that a man can sit down, bless on the left and on the right, and effulgence of Zoe, the reality of God's life, practically at work in a man. And they look at you and say, Pastor Alpha, is it true that you came from Kogi State with this rest roundabout? The witches left you, they didn't leave me, I came out. I access the mystery because they are still there if they left you they will leave everybody there you mean you come from this state and you are not a drunkard no the drunkenness is still there I came out by a mystery of exemption Who built this house? I built it. At what age? 27. Where did you get the money from? The only person that built a house here was the king of the village. And he built it at 63. And you tell them, well, well, well. Welcome to a new order. Where intelligence creates reality. Do you know you would die? And you say, no, no. The same mystery that built the house without resistance keeps the house. You had the testimony of the gentleman diagnosed of prostate cancer and all of a sudden is that prostate cancer he would have died like a chicken then we will say how can they ally Sharia? you see what how we convince ourselves as if the will of god is a mystery i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil i don't know poverty does not look like good oppression does not look like good no sir I counseled a couple of Jimmy. they got married their wedding night that's supposed to be a night of joy their very wedding night a stranger walked physically to the woman and told her the same thing I did to your mother is what I would do to you she true story she got pregnant according to what she told me they were even happy people were dancing and in the night this stranger came again and this is all he did on her stomach and she got up in the morning bleeding profusely as if she would die machines don't diagnose causes machines cannot detect the presence of demons they only detect the effect of their presence We went to Ida. We always go there for Pastor Alpha's conference. And I remember one of the years when we traveled there, he took us on a tour.
and began to explain to us we went to greet the king the man refused to see us later on and then we went somewhere and i saw foul remember market square one market square that we went i saw it there with my eyes and people were passing whoever did the sacrifice just scattered it there witchcraft is real if you see anybody rising he is exempted or yet to be a victim did you hear what i said exempted or or the devil is allowing their ignorance to keep them going while they laugh at others i say it's because you don't know the day will do you it will scatter and rubbish you into pieces there are people who are so irrelevant as far as their impact to hell is concerned the devil said just allow them to be busy they think it's because they have overcome the day something about your life and ministry strikes hell you will see the reaction immediately you can be praying your childish prayer and the devil say focus on those who are really just leave that person and you can convince yourself that because nothing has happened say no 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 I'm, i know what to say i don't talk too much and things happen the day that you ever say anything that strikes a chord in hell suddenly strangers will come to you and say don't do it again brothers and sisters if you see men rise as if satan does not exist it's not it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception The Western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way. Because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things. Oh, they leave it to all the spiritists and the, uh, the, the transcendental meditators. And all of them come. The nation of America, listen, their fathers understood this mystery. They walked in power. And when Satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to God, he left them and started growing with their children. He said, let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground. And he started growing with the children. And all the children came up with all kinds of things, you know. I mean, there's, if, if you are sick right now, you cough, ambulance is coming in five minutes. And so they don't believe it now. Look at the disaster happening in the Western world. Where people can kill themselves on YouTube shoot their children effects they laughed at us in Africa before that we are the ones who used to behave like that you carry arrows now they have a reprobate mind a generation successfully captured by hell a cause is a mystery a very deep mystery hallelujah how many beautiful ladies do you know beautiful godly god fearing the painful part is nobody has even come to say hi my dear you know you're a pretty lady it's not a lie you know what i'm saying it's not a lie how many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant There is a system in the kingdom for exemption but the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth a lot of people don't believe causes are real it's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real the same boss brought all of them how you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor if you can still get poor as a believer then make no mistakes to say cause cannot come are you getting what i'm saying if as a believer i say are you born again yes are you blessed no i'm poor they say okay it's okay with time it will change are you a believer yes are you sick oh very sick are you a believer yes is there a manipulation of that no 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 are we not mocking ourselves what is the difference between sickness, poverty, and causes? If we do not get this, we will destroy ourselves. 
every time I look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what I tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast I look at these dear ones and I'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well secondary school brilliant people why nine papers they step into the university and all of a sudden 100 level result nine f's you think they are dull they are conducting tutorials but they enter the exam hall they only remember in the night when the exam has finished it's not everybody who is lazy let me tell you what of recurrent sicknesses there are people today there is no month they don't fall sick go to the hospital they will tell you nothing is wrong now the doctors are wiser thank god for spiritual people becoming doctors they don't waste time again the moment they diagnose you they see that you have come once twice they'll say do you know what find any available crusade and run quickly go to the front early and stand there and trust god to wipe your tears that's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato soto labaya help that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only god knows how many powers try to kill me every day i told you all the time only god knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in israel there was a woman called the widow of Nain what killed her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madman is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents. Either they are in exile or they die. Please, 
tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent say programming you reign you ancient iron skin kadosh kadosh you were mighty on your own Break forth down fountains of the deep, and we have lost you are mighty on your throne. Listen, help me. How can a man lose a job in 1999 until now? He has not gotten a job. Is it that dull? Let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray listen listen to me when you study the laws of mechanics sir isaac newton postulated a law we call it the first law of mechanics and this is what it states that every body continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if I leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you I should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen 
if you buy your first car 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony take seriously what i'm saying what of ministries there are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers you will see a church with members but prosperity zero when it comes to finances you will never see increase in that area but tonight god put this body in my heart because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and god opened the womb of rachel and god opened the womb of leah and god shut the womb of a milka david's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths i remember one lady i can't remember um who now but there used to be a lady i remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel i'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of god because the job has been done you hear what i'm saying it's a good advice i'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of god the house of god is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know that a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them i'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us psalms 1 or 2 verse 13 read it if you're a child of god one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her 
even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only pass through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of god is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of god is a system a system in the kingdom where guilty people are made free the mercy of god is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a tighter i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah samson lost his strength to delilah the bible says his eyes were plucked the symbol of light in his life and the mystery that surrounded his power his hair shoven completely and they took him the bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of god everything was over but that samson leaned there they didn't watch the hair grow he said oh lord he cried for mercy and the moment he did that see there is one prayer god cannot say no to if you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered try the prayer of mercy invoke mercy lord i know i am undeserving of this but i invoke your mercy it is of the lord's mercy listen it is of the lord's mercy 
Meaning, my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work, He creates a system, a provision. See, let me tell you, it is on grounds of this that the Bible can say, Rejoice not over me, my enemies. For when you think, Ah, there was a time his car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't cook. Ah. The worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy. You are finished. Mercy. And Samson pushed. And the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime. What of blind Bartimaeus? Thou son of David. Hold on. He never said heal me. The Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart. I thought it would be thou son of David, heal me. He said thou son of David, have mercy. Mercy is an open check and God had to come. He left and came. Thou son of David. There were two condemned criminals on the cross. Condemned. Once you hang on that cross, it's over for you. Two condemned criminals. One was talking nonsense. Like many people are still doing. They are quarter to finish in life. And they are still making noise. And the other one provoked his mercy. And he said this day, today, not tomorrow. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Are we together? Listen. The mercy of God is an attribute you need in your life. It's not for sinners. The mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, they started a conversation. Number one, that woman was a prostitute. Correct? And then because of that, more the disciples, oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus. You're a bad woman. And Jesus started talking with her. And she started touching his mercy. And at the end of it, that woman ran and said, come and see the man who has told me what I have done. Mercy. Mercy vetoes everything in your life. And when the door settles, you are still standing. That's why you see, those who know this, when people are dancing and saying, the power of my might has given me this. Oh, this great ministry, Koinonia, Apostle, what wisdom. You are such an anointed man. I just laugh and look at them. You need to hear my prayer in the secret place. The mercy of God. When David, one day, the Bible says, when kings go for war, David was meandering his balcony, correct? And he looked at somebody's wife, she was baffing. And from the altitude, he could see her nakedness and he desired her. The Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came. He now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the heat of war. Not minding whether the nation of Israel would die. They carried Uriah and brought Uriah. Uriah said, my king, I'm here. He says, I just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently? Uriah says, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel? I should be there in the heat of battle. And he got angry. And all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question 
what was the difference between Cain and David? Cain killed Abel. Blood started crying. Meaning when David killed Uriah, blood should be crying. Correct? David went, wept, 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 wept. When all of that happened, you would think that after the, the child died, he would now tell the wife, he said, okay, go, I won't marry you again. Who was the mother of Solomon? He did it again. Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say. If it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understands. Not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving you will never have it great is your mercy towards me your loving kindness towards me your tender mercy I see day after day forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you a particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that we'll deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy 
when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make a, I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there as we travel around I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me when I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look I say except for the mercy of God who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what I'm saying there is a dimension in ministry I believe in principles I teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing I've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only God can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never train their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom 
let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles I knew now, I was already getting their results. When I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified i have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before i knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before i understood principles of church growth and increase i had been seeing the hand of god and it's there is a science to growth if you don't know it it should not happen but mercy 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 tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think i have to marry because i'm beautiful i think i'm intelligent i should be a millionaire by now the pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy one of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes against yokes listen i've seen people eh, Jimmy, they are not even born again yet but sincerely you know they call it in house affairing Jimmy. you've seen that happen they take their names to the harbalists and the harbalists will reject it and they are not born again they don't love god they don't know him but their hearts are so sincere somehow they know there is a god out there and whoever it is they are grateful to him and God says protect them regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful their hearts are wicked yet God protects them I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home they never fear death and somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man God will deal with you but you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead they never fear anything they hear that there is crisis bomb will explode where you know they are in the night you still see him back safe and hale and hearty you didn't die and he laughs that guy doesn't take communion that guy has never attended prayer meeting that guy has never attended miracle service he doesn't even know what his genotype is honestly he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy all he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to god destroy it not for there is a blessing in it destroy it not for there is a blessing this is what has kept some of our parents so because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died since it would have it would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life i imagine what would have happened and i wonder how many things i do not know now that I will know in the future how I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy I give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them
and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the God of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, yes, Just that stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness And your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy Oh, hallelujah To receive the kind of love that you give
voice in one minute. Begin to mention the things you know didn't come as a result of your prayer life. Things that are attributes of his mercy and benevolence. If you are ashamed of it, you are not a candidate for mercy tonight. the Lord mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me. But what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Hey, Invoke mercy. Repent. Take your voice. Every voice. The voice of mercy. Hey, Kapada. The voice of wisdom. The voice of failure. The voice of failure. I invoke mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! invoke mercy come on now invoke mercy invoke the blood invoke the blood invoke the blood
Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out anointings. It can blot out ordinances. Was he praying? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effects must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You live my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia. You pray. find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again Lamentations 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not 
and we have borne their iniquities but now if i appropriate the revelation that i've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation i can't go to hell because i, I was born in kogi or i was born in plateau state i did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is cursed, i exempt myself i can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen i'd like you to pray with all your heart and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal covenant Koinonia, you pray. Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S.S. That made you A.S. That gave you hepatitis. It was God tonight. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now you hear me I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekreteke toko soto balakata. Shepreketeke kosuta bariatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. 
But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29, it says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck, that looms around the life of men and women here, so that you never rise, is like a veil on your face, and anyone who sees you works against you, I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativisms right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now a tearing down and a rebuilding now 
a tearing down and a rebuilding now. A tearing down and a rebuilding now. I announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of Jesus Christ I provoke restoration right now 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 I pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on bare foot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I want to speak speed in your life I don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of God for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now but you are yet to have one therefore I command speed step into it right now in the name of Jesus I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the last prayer point I want to pray for you for there is an unction that can come on a man there is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth there is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing the yoke destroying there is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess it's an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can veto the plans of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota Lekre Tosketenika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace Carry the unction, command deliverance, make environments cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry sustain an ability to nullify ordinances nullify yokes and causes an enchantment surely they shall gather but because their gathering is not of God there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God receive it now in the name of Jesus I believe I believe I believe oh Lord I Oh, 
oppression ends tonight do you believe the sickness dies tonight do you believe the retrogression ends tonight I believe hey. spirit just move in this place I like to just set your heart I need you to realize hear me that what is going to happen to you tonight is real not what God is about to do is the manifestation of what Christ has done in the cross are you listening to me until you realize that it will be difficult for you to receive God is not trying to bring healing He's trying to enforce in your life the healing that has been established. Hallelujah. Every miracle, every manifestation of the Spirit in this place is on account of the finished work of Christ. Say after me, the finished work. The finished work. Cancer died in Christ 2,000 years ago. HIV died in Christ. Hear me. Oppression died in Christ. Every name, every sickness, poverty, lack, retrogression, all kinds of challenges died in Christ 2,000 years ago. And let me tell you something. Satan is not powerful. This is a revelation that must be crystallized in your spirit. I don't care how many demons you have seen in the realm of the spirit. I have seen them and I'm still saying Satan is powerless. Hear me. Satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance or disobedience permits him to be. Are you listening to me? And so you must realize that is your right in Christ Jesus to receive that which the son of the living God has died for he died for your salvation the word salvation is the Greek word soteria and it is a very pregnant word it doesn't just mean salvation from sickness it means salvation from sin salvation from sickness salvation from poverty total package of redemption the total package of redemption hallelujah for death could not hold him captive even in the grave Jesus is Lord for death could hold him in hell no oppression could hold him when the gates refused to open there was a cry lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted oh ye ancient doors and they asked a question they said who is this king of glory there was a reply he said the Lord Yahweh strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle said the Lord of hosts is his name so I need you to realize hear me you're not fighting with Satan to claim yours 
to claim your no 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 there's no fight tonight we are stepping upon the established victory of christ jesus to receive by faith the fullness of the riches of the benefits of redemption that's why i like that song that says my faith is reaching out to you that you reach out that's all you need to do tonight for that sickness you need to reach out and say thou son of david i believe oh i believe don't start asking questions how will the growth disappear how did it come in the first place were you born you've never asked a question how the swelling came why should you ask how it will disappear don't ask how the leg will grow out that's none of your business don't ask how the ears will open that's none of your business that's the dynamics of the spirit the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child so you do not know the way of the lord i'm provoking you tonight i don't care what that challenge is we're going to be stepping by faith there are many of you who have been oppressed by demons demons torment you and oppress you i saw a lot of this in my visions through the week enough is enough are you listening to me the bible says we have been raised up with christ say after me i have been raised up inside outside shout it i have been raised up and i've been made to sit with christ far above cancer say it far above cancer far above infirmity far above causes far above death far above every spirit you are far above epilepsy oh yes so i don't care what sickness it is it's under your feet and you've got to enforce the revelation of the word of god one last scripture luke chapter 10 such a mighty presence of the precious spirit in this place Luke chapter 10 when Jesus sent the 70 frail people with no power in themselves the Bible says they went and they came back with a report verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy they returned with what they returned with what that's exactly how you are returning back to your destination he said they return with joy they return with joy saying lord even the demons are subject unto us through thy name and jesus said something in verse 18 i love it so much he said unto them I beheld I beheld Satan as lightning fall I beheld Satan I beheld cancer I beheld infirmity I beheld poverty I beheld death fall Hallelujah so let your heart be set let your heart be set there are many of you that need miracles in this place that only god can give some of you have come here with your medical reports while we appreciate medicine as a contribution to help humanity i like you to know that there is only one qualified person and he's the king of kings 
the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. To end every tragedy. Many of you have suffered all kinds of things. What people call generational curses. All kinds of delays. Marriage delays. Financial delays. I don't care what it is called tonight. But Jesus is Lord in this place. And he said if I be lifted up. So God is going to step in in this place. The worship people got it precisely. They said speak Lord. Brother, sister. When he speaks. Everything will have to obey. When he said let there be light. The Bible says there was light. So when he looks at you and says cancer go. It will go. When he says favor come. It will come. When he says increase come. It will come. It's what God is doing in this place. Even by his spirit. So in one minute. I like all of us to raise a cry. And tell God why you came here tonight. Inside and outside. Come on. Raise a cry. Say Lord I have come. For the healing of my body. Lord, I have come for the fibro to die. I have come for the migraine to go. I have come for my genotype to be changed. Get angry. If doctors say you are SS, say, Lord, that may be their report. Tonight, I'm leaving this place. Hey, hey. It's none of your business how it will happen. Go ahead and pray. That barrenness will die. If you are here and you've not had your child, even if you don't have a womb, stand up and pray. Say, Lord, I celebrate children. I beheld Satan I beheld Satan as lightning fall I beheld Satan I had beheld Satan I beheld Satan Oh, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm angry in my spirit. Brothers and sisters, enough is enough. It's time for you to experience the hand of God. It's time for your life to move forward. It's time for oppression to end. Come on, express yourself. Thank you, Jesus. I see angels in this place. Great angels. Many angels. Inside and outside. Several kinds of angels. Several kinds of angels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I see the Lord touching a lady outside. 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 Please, those outside, lift up your hands. I want you to bring that lady in this place. The power of God is going to come upon a lady right now as I'm speaking. Of course, there will be a ripple effect. But if you can locate the first lady, please bring her outside. A lady. Kaparianda kapa soto barikata. Kabambre kapa soboto shubaha. In kabarata mekete vala. See a healing miracle. Pra kapa toso feke bede kete yaha. Pra nta baba seka prosuva. Bring the lady here. Kapo sopom breka yaba. Rakatos te brandia. Sikeria tabari enteka. And the kabarada basikete yaha. Haregete malopaya. Satan. End your oppression over her life. Right now, I command those evil spirits tormenting you to go, 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 go. Hear me? Now listen, listen. At the count of three, everyone here with a demonic case, whether it's madness, psychosomatism, devils oppressing you hear me the power of god inside and outside oppression will end right now at the count of three i see demons flying around the air at the count of three one two three shake up oppression go go i cast out devils I cast out devils. I cast out devils. Bring them to the front. I cast out devils inside and outside. Inside and outside. Satan, go. 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 I need all of them outside. I need all of them outside. There are some people possessed with demons. I command you be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Inside and outside. All kinds of spirits. 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 I command it out of you. Bring the lady. All kinds of spirits. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. 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 All kinds of demon spirits. All kinds of demon spirits. Come out. Come out. Come out. Inside and outside. Abala Katem Regadevanos. Prateka Tosotetos. Spirits of lust. Come out. Come out. Come out. All kinds of spirits. Out of them. Out of them. Inside and outside. Out of them. Out of them. Those possessed with demons. You are free now. Every demon. You know my voice. I sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit. Let God's people go. 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 I see 
in my spirit. Hear me. I see people who are dedicated. I'm seeing some people standing in front of a river line area. A river line area. And being dedicated to some kind of demonic things. Right now. Katoso tepaka, rendo sopo kosupa, ekoria kapata, rendo sopo kapata, eke basika, amrata bate kete, reke tebo sopo. I command you, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that you are free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a lady who was sent in the occultic realm to come and stop this meeting when I come out to minister. How, how, can, you, how can you think like that? Now! 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 Deliverance! Now! Now! By the power of the Holy Ghost, let that demon go. I set you free. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do, and greater works. Jesus said it, greater works. There's one more lady. There's one more lady. I see the demons around saying they will not let you go. Let that girl go now. 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 The lady is outside. Let that girl go now. Let that lady go. Now, 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 Let that lady go now, let that girl go now. I'm waiting for a lady outside. The fire of God, not just the power, the fire of God is what will fall upon that lady. Hallelujah. All of you here, Satan, I'm about to speak to all of you here, and the demons will go. Now, come out of them, all of you in front. Come out of them now. Now. I see in the realm of the spirit a snake. I'm not just seeing this lady, I'm seeing a snake. I don't care what you are. Go! 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 Go. That wicked. Look at what she's doing. I see the way she's behaving. Look at, look at this. Look at this. See the way she's behaving. Like a serpent. See. Oh, fire upon you. Fire upon you. Fire upon you now. Out of her. 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 Out of 
come out of her. I set you free. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we want to see you. We want to hear from you. cardiovascular issue, blood circulation issue, whatever it is inside and outside, I'd like you to lift your hands right now. Any heart problem, I don't care what it is. Lift up your hands because you're about to receive your liberty. Hear me? God is healing all over. Even before I mention your case, check yourself. Check yourself. You will find out that you're getting healed. Don't sit back, check yourself and run quickly. Meet the members of the media. Right here you will testify. So check yourself. Miracles are happening everywhere. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every hole in the heart I command you to be closed now in the name of Jesus. Every blood circulation problem, I command you be free from it now in the name of Jesus. Heart condition, be healed. Check yourselves now. Check yourselves. Breathe in and out. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. There are healings. I'm seeing it. Many of you are getting healed right now. Members of the media, let them see you so that they can register their testimonies. As many of you who are receiving miracles, walk up to the ushers or the members of the media team. There are miracles happening right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Partial or total blindness. 
if you're totally blind inside and outside or partially blind right now there are some of you that are not seeing me clearly but the moment i pray the power of god will come and 2020 vision will be restored believe me it will happen right now hallelujah just one shout inside and outside we are going to shout the name jesus lay your hands on your eyes if you have any issue of eyesight uh, eye problem just believe you'll be surprised right now many of you as you shout jesus your sight will be restored inside and outside locate the people the ushers immediately make sure you check yourself are you ready to shout at the count of three we're going to shout and i see rapid angelic activities already in the realm of the spirit one two three vision restored perfect vision perfect vision perfect vision be restored hallelujah epilepsy it's what i hear my spirit epilepsy does anyone Make sure you're standing not just for yourself but for your loved ones. Look at what is happening to this lady. Every devil. I see the spirit of epilepsy upon her. Now, come out of her. Come out of her. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. She's going to start coughing out things. She's going to begin to cough out things. You are free. That devil, that devil of epilepsy, leave her forever. Everyone with any epileptic issue, inside and outside, right now, I command you, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free from epilepsy, be free from epilepsy, in the name of Jesus. You are glorious, so glorious to your You are glorious, so glorious in the way. You are glorious, Lord. You are glorious, so glorious in your way. You are powerful, Lord. You are powerful, was brought from Taraba. Please bring him out. The young man who came from Taraba. Is he here? There's a young man who came in. This is not word of knowledge. I got word that there's a young man who came for healing from Taraba. 
Hallelujah. As soon as you locate him, please let him come. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for blood diseases. I see a number of people here with HIV AIDS. I see a number of people with um, infections, blood infections, quite a number of people. As I pray for you right now, inside and outside, those streaming online and everywhere, you can hear my voice. Oh, okay. You're the lady. Oh, you're standing on his behalf. He didn't come. Oh, okay. That's all right. Come. You're standing on his behalf. What's wrong with you? Can you help me? Guy has three uh, adverse drugs reaction due to three poisoning. Okay. Fainting. Three poisoning. Stiff neck and so many other uh, problems. Blood poisoning. Uh, poisoning due to drip. Drip. Yes. Drip poisoning. Drip poisoning. Okay. He has kidney stones. Kidney and, stones. Yes. And he's fainting and stiff neck and he said extra extra. So okay. many things. The doctors asked him to stay back with us and he can't continue. I'm going to pray for you. You are standing on his behalf. And the Lord of glory will touch him. Are you listening to me? Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, let him be free. In the name of Jesus, we call him free and we celebrate his liberty. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blood diseases. Blood diseases right now. Everywhere. You can hear my voice. Every blood infection, I don't care what it is, from HIV to any other kind of blood infection, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Now the last set of people I'm going to pray for then I'll just step back a little just allow a few ministers to um, just minister as the spirit will for a while and then we'll come and just release miracles in mass and then we'll round off hallelujah asthma Janet is there a lady called Janet in this place inside or outside What's wrong with you? Can we have the mic? Are you well? I see. Do you have any problem with asthma or any breath problem? Yes. Please look hello, look at me. Can you talk? You're talking to the audience. Do you have any what's the problem? Explain it to us. Sometimes my heart used to beat very, very fast. Your heart used to beat. My body you have irregular heartbeats. That's what I'm seeing. Yes. Sometimes it looks like you are passing out. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Right now. Are you listening to me? Yes. Not later. Yes. Right now. You're going to be free. Look at me. Have I met you? Have we discussed on this? Have we discussed? The Lord brought you out right now. Right now. You're going to be free. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. That devil. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, asthma. No, 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 we're going to pray in mass. But since you have come out, in the name of Jesus, look at me. 
see the power of God is moving through your body. My God. I see a devil. It's not just asthma. It's a demonic oppression. Come on. How dare you come close to me, Satan? Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. And be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just let her see the power of the Holy Spirit upon her. Totally free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Asthma. Kaposa tabariakata. Every kind of asthmatic condition, hear me. The moment I pray for you, I like you to breathe in and out as hard as you can and do what you couldn't do. You will find out that you'll be healed instantly. There's an anointing for asthma. Asthma inside and outside. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command asthma be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, be healed. In the name of Jesus, now check yourself. Begin to breathe in and out. You find out that you are healed right now. Right now, I see two ladies in the auditorium being healed right now. Two ladies, at least in the auditorium, being healed instantly of asthma. Hallelujah. Look at me, friends. I need you to know that there is only one personality who deserves to be glorified in this place. Are you listening to me? every of these manifestations are only but acts of god's grace and mercy through human vessels there is no champion in this place there is no celebrity in this place there is only one who deserves his name is jesus i like you to shout his name jesus! shout his name jesus! inside and outside shout his name experiencing over a long period of time excess flow of blood is not usual it's a disease excess flow of blood through your life excess flow out of your system where are you just lift up your hands it's a disease it's a disease excess flow of blood coming out of your system coming out of your body out of your woman i declare supernatural healing for you right now that lady there i declare in the name of jesus that that blood rise up now in the name of the lord jesus i declare that the power of the holy ghost comes upon you right now and that blood stops flowing right now in the name of the lord jesus I see in my vision a woman who needs a baby. I see a woman who came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Inside, outside. I like you to come. A woman you came here in need of a baby. Where are you? Come. I'm seeing in my vision a woman who needs a baby. Carry the baby. Come. Come. Mommy, I want you to know that Jesus is a miracle worker. And we stand here by the word of the Lord. We declare to you right now that the Lord gives you a baby now, supernaturally, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see you celebrating with your baby now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. I declare that you take in supernaturally and bring for that baby in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I will see the Lord gives you a son. The Lord gives you a son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on, hold on. I hope every one of you standing is married. You're standing in for your auntie. How about you, my dear? You're married. All right. I declare a release of a baby for you now. I release this miracle to you. Take it in the name of Jesus. 
We declare that you give birth to a baby supernaturally in the name of the Lord Jesus. Well, hold on. I won't see that the challenge is not with you. I know it's a social reason, but I see that it has to do with your husband. Am I correct? Am I correct? I see that the problem is not basically with you, but it has to do with your husband. But nonetheless, I declare a miracle. I declare supernatural healing. I declare that a baby be given to you and even more children in the name of the Lord Jesus. Take it in Jesus' name. And for you, we declare that wherever you're standing for, receive a baby in the name of Jesus. We declare it so in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a little child. I see a little child around the age of five. I don't know, but I believe that is somebody's family member here, a little child around the age of five, having certain challenge that has to do with his bone, a male that affects his ability to walk. It has something to do with his bone. If I'm speaking about your brother or your nephew, I'd like you to just lift up your hands. I see the angel of the Lord bringing a miracle right now. Who is that person? Just lift up your hands. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Is your brother? around age five okay i declare in the name of jesus that the lord gives him a miracle i declare that his bones are healed supernaturally in the name of jesus i see someone you're standing in for a relative i believe an auntie your yoruba she has fibroid this person you're standing for has fibroid and you are Yoruba. Who is the person? You are standing, you came in trusting the Lord to heal your auntie. She has fibroid. Your sister, your relative, your sister. I declare a supernatural release right now. I declare that she's healed in the name of Jesus. I release that miracle to her. I declare that fibroid is gone supernaturally. And you return with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Okay, I also declare the same miracle for you. I declare supernatural healing for that relative in the name of Jesus. I declare that she's healed and delivered from fibroid in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare it so for you. I declare healing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fibroid is gone by the anointing of the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. Put your hands on your eyes. I see the Lord wanting to heal your eyes. As I pray for you, you're going to check your vision and tell us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I declare that our vision is healed and restored. I release the healing power of God. You are healed now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You're healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Check it. Check your vision has been healed and restored. Check it. Just look what you couldn't do before. Check do what you couldn't do before. Just check your vision is healed right now. Check it here and then you tell us. I see someone, your father works, he does an industrial work, and then as a result of that, he has had certain challenge upon his health that came due to exposure to the nature of his work. And it has been a serious concern to your family. I don't know what that infirmity is. But I'm seeing that person represented here. Your father contacted a challenge with his health as a result of his work. Where you just lift up your hands. You are inside, you are outside. Just lift up your hands. The Lord is bringing his power there in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that your father is healed. Whatever challenge that come, came upon his life as a result of that industrial exposure. I declare supernatural healing to him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I see a brother. I see the Lord says there's a work of deliverance that God will begin to do in your family. The brother is sitting close to you, sitting close to you. I'd like you to lift up your hands. I see the Lord says the spirit of the warrior comes upon you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that the deliverance of the Lord come to your household right now. 
I declare that the spirit of the warrior come upon you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Jessica, please, I want to pray for you. I hear the Lord says, my trumpet of jubilee is sounding over your family. I hear God says, I'm bringing a restoration. I hear God says, I'm bringing a restoration. For there has been a conniving. I see a connivance. I see conspiracy that has been over your family over your father, over your father particularly for many years. But God says, I'm bringing deliverance wherever he is. And I'm bringing restoration. God says, your family will yet know joy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God says, he will perfect your mom. He said, he will perfect all that concerns her. He says, he will perfect her health. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see many hands being stretched forth towards you to help you. And God says, for my light is upon you for favor. For my light is upon you for favor. I see a little child. I see the spirit of infirmity come upon this child. But the Lord says there's healing tonight. A little child in your family. A little child. I see the spirit of infirmity come. But the Lord says there's healing tonight. Father, we give you praise. We declare it turn around by your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, is Shadi here? No, not you. Shadi, Shadi, our minister and her husband. If they are here, please let them come. I see the Lord showing me things about them. Father, we give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. We bless you, Jesus. We give you praise. God says for me to tell you that I have it all planned out for you. God says when he brought your, you and your husband together, he has it planned out for you. I see the Lord taking you. I see the both of you standing in a strange land. I see the both of you ministering, preaching the gospel of Jesus. And I will hear many people say that if in your house is deliverance. And I hear God says he brings upon you in a new way the spirit of sin and God says deliverance are yet come to many in the name of Jesus for I see many march into your house and say that is the altar of the Lord for your house shall be called a house of prayer I see many come into your house for prayer I see many come into your house for prayer and God says I bring my fire upon your altar today upon your altar in the name of the Lord Jesus I said the Lord mentioned the name Kogi State. And I said the Lord mentioned the place Akure. I don't know what that means to you. But I see that your feet will be established in that place. And in that place you'll be a chosen instrument for the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I don't know, but I'm hearing the name Dili. Your Dili or Dili is part of your name. Daily, I'm hearing the name Daily, just come quickly. Daily is part of your name. Daily, I'm hearing the Lord. Give me the word Daily. For you, Daily, I hear the Lord says you begin to do a new thing in your life and even in your family. I hear God says I'm even extending. I'm attending to that financial situation in your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see the Lord reaching out even to touch your mom. And God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. God says, I perfect her health right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know, but I believe the Lord was speaking for him. Be blessed. I release the blessings of the Lord upon your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I see in the vision, I I see like an electric pole, like an electric pole, a cable fall upon somebody, and I see that the enemy intends to have you electrocuted. I see that the enemy wants to attack somebody 
through electrocuting. And for this person, you have had this experience before. You, you have been terribly electrocuted at one point of your life. Terribly electrocuted. And I see the enemy bring that to you right now. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands. I avert that for you in the name of Jesus. I declare that that attack from the enemy is averted in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see somebody behind me among the sisters with an abdomen, abdominal pain. I ask right now that let the hand of the Lord touch you. I don't know who you are, but I ask that let the hand of the Lord touch you right now. I declare the healing power of God to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That lady that came here, that was prayed for, that was convulsing. I see that you have challenge around your tummy area, excruciating pain that even come to you, especially around your monthly circle. I declare that that pain is gone right now. I declare that healing come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Genotypes, and when Apostle was ministering, I see the angel of the Lord doing a healing, changing somebody's genotype by the behind a lady's genotype behind there by the left hand side, and another lady outside the overflow. I see the Lord as you leave here, just go try do some one or two checkups, your tests. The Lord is changing your genotype, and you uh, stand up during the prayers. I see the Lord doing a healing in your heart. I see the Lord doing a healing, and I see the Lord. Listen an anointing upon you, even for the media again. I see an anointing released upon you so strongly upon you, and the Lord said He's going to, He's going to confirm that to you tonight. That what the Lord said. Then there's another lady that has HIV. You've been on drugs for some time, or for the past uh, one week you've been feeling. Any time you woke up in the morning to take your drugs, you always feel very disturbed. You always cry. I see a lady, a lady. For the past one week, you've been, you've been on drug, you're not, have you are HIV positive, you've been on drug for some time, but for the past one week, you've been having a lot of trouble in taking your drugs. I see the Lord healing you, healing you. Then also you there, you my sister there, you. I see the Lord doing a work in your family. Oh, behind me. I see the Lord doing a, 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 a work of uh, restoration in your family. And the Lord says, going to speak, it's going to perfect you, in Jesus' name. There's a guy that has a little challenge in the mind. A guy that has been a challenge in the mind. That's a guy, I don't know what you're doing. Jesus, you devilish spirit 
from hell. Lose him and let him go. In the name of Jesus, lose him and let him go. That's the person I saw. Immediately I was about to come up. That's exactly and God told me that's where the mental thing came from. He has exposed to music. He's not the only one here. If you have ever been exposed to foul, devilish, satanic music, you, you listen to it for years. I see God healing you right now. Lift up your hand wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, that foul spirit of Lucifer that is using music as a channel to torment this world. In the name of Jesus, lift them and let them go. In the name of Jesus, the Lord sets you free. In the name of Jesus. There's actually somebody here with a pain on your left knee, then another person on your right knee. For the one on your right knee, when you stand, usually when you stand, you feel so much pain. Who is that person? Please come out. Okay, quickly come out. I think there are some sets of people you've had um, a doctor's report, not a report from the bank now. Hallelujah. A doctor's report. Doctor's report. A doctor's report. Please, amongst the ones where the doctors report, specifically somebody with two weeks ago, just roughly two weeks. The doctors report amongst them, specifically, like two weeks ago. Who is that person? Hallelujah. Then there's somebody specifically, please look at me. You have pain just here. For those outside, I hope you can see just here, not exactly on your spinal cord, just by the side. If you're that person, quickly come out here too. And I began to receive in my spirit that God wants a lot of you to know you've been hearing people say a hey, yeah specifically to you, and you've been feeling sorry for yourself and you've been sympathizing for yourself. But the Lord wants you to rise. <laughs> the Lord wants you to rise. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to rise. Those of you with the challenge with the knee, please just for those with the doctor's report, man of God will pray for you here. Knee cases, please just put your hands on your knee. Church, stretch forth your hands towards them. Let's pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to every knee. We command healing right now. Every knee. We command healing in the name of Jesus Christ for the person with the right, the problem of the right leg. I said like healing flowing through your right leg in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now we speak healing to your leg. Healing every pain, let it go. We command it to go. For the person with the pain back, I command that pain to leave you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every report, every devilish report you've heard from Satan, the Lord changes it in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that came out for the report, please step forward. Ah, Allah Pampro Shakara Patele Gatumana Nabaka Banusia. Ila Brado Safataya La Branda Kapata Shaka Tara Gadana Mada Ragada de Bako Sakaya. Le Brando Sopele Branda Kapaka Shaka Tara. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Just, just keep looking. Don't be tired. You don't know what is happening to you. Don't stop. You don't know why I'm telling you to look. Something is happening to you. Charles, look at my eyes. Just look. Look at my eyes. Just keep looking at me. 
for me to tell you I have set my eyes upon you medical report or no medical report I call you home totally free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah you need to be very serious with the Lord you can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to oppress you does this make sense what I'm saying does it make sense just yes or no are you listening to me? You can't be one leg in and one leg out and expect Satan not to get you. The things that I would want to do, I do not find myself doing. But the things that I don't want to do, I find myself doing. And Paul lamented and said, Oh wretched man I am, who shall deliver me from the body of death? Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Inside and outside, just lift your right hand. Only your right hand. Only your right hand. Only your right hand. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Only your right hand. And I'm going to count four. At the count of four, there are certain people. At the count of four, there are certain people. Listen, the power of God is going to sweep inside and outside. And this right hand is a scepter of an unusual level of dominion. Get ready. One, two, three, four. Now, inside and outside. Inside and outside. On your right hand. Inside. Outside. Inside. Outside. It's an impartation. Supernatural dimension. Unusual kingdom authority. Unusual kingdom authority. Just keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Keep your right hands lifted up. Kingdom authority. Step into it. Kingdom authority. According to the vision given unto me, let it be confirmed in this realm. I call it forth from the heavens. At the back, get ready. At the back, it will sweep like fire. At the back, get set right now. Outside, outside, it's going to be like a boat of electricity. Outside, I see angels outside. Say you will strengthen my right hand. Hallelujah. 
I see the number 36 in the spirit. There are 36 of you. Real fire. Listen, hear me. Hear me now. Fire, I mean physical, literal fire will come upon you right now. 36 of you. Now, now, receive it. 36 of you. Fire, literal fire. 36 of you. I saw it in the spirit. 36 people. 36 people. Literal fire. Physical fire. 36 people. Inside and outside. At the word of the Lord. 36 people. Inside and outside. Oh, let the fire burn. Let the fire burn. For some of you, it's burning the chaff of habits. For some of you, it's setting your spirit on fire. Hallelujah. We have to do this really fast. Hallelujah. Eleven people will receive a supernatural leadership mandate. Eleven people. Eleven people. I'm seeing the number in my spirit. Hallelujah. For those who hear me, hear me, on your tummy and the whole of your head, you will literally feel that they are dropping something. A very, very hot substance. Now, please, don't just come out. We are not just, I'm just doing what the Lord is showing me. Eleven people. Hallelujah. We are going to shout Jesus. And these 11 people, such a dramatic power of God will come on you. 11 people. Let's shout Jesus. One, two, three. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Please bring them. Bring them out. Kaparikete. Leadership abilities. Strength. 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 Kapayara. Alakataba Sikote. Manda Pratis Kaporosha. hear my spirit laughter hear me laughter in the spirit it will break out in a supernatural way I don't know why God is doing this laughter in the spirit laughter in the spirit Lord we release it now now hey now laughter in the spirit laughter in the spirit it's a sign of victory. It's a symbol of victory. Ah, 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 ah,
Hallelujah. We have to hurry up. Now, hear me. I want to speak over your finances. Now, this, this is for everybody. Hear me. I just sense like cold water come upon my head. And the Lord said, that's the anointing. Release it. I don't want you to take this opportunity for granted. Brothers and sisters, God is going to change people's finances if I be a servant of God. And Jesus is Lord in this place. Under this unction. Kaladina makabosikata. I'm going to shout one word as I shout one word miracles of financial increase death cancellation will erupt everybody be humble enough to receive hallelujah hallelujah I'm just going to shout what I see in my spirit inside and outside change 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 that's what God said I should shout change change I invoke it change over your finances change Natural, inexplainable level. If I be a servant of God right now, under this unction, this atmosphere of the Spirit of God, change, 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 outside, change, change. Receive the favor of the from Gentiles. For your family, change. For your family, change. For your family, change. Change. That translation, I release miracles of that translation. That translation. That translation. in your academics every student here yeah, now is the time to change your status lift your hands inside and outside oh it's not by power don't let any man fool you 
is not by might for death walks in us that life will walk in you Kaposo toperiakata, ran take it, take it, take it, baso porukasa. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command you increase in your academics, break new grounds. I command, be the best, be the best. Jesus I command now a supernatural dimension of intelligence receive it in the name of Jesus right here I command the release of first class students receive it Every other sickness represented in this place that we did not mention, you came for miracle service, come out. You came for miracle service. Every sickness, every infirmity represented right here in this holy and sanctified atmosphere. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Outside, be healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer, die in the name of Jesus. Migraine, die in the name of Jesus. Fibroid, go in the name of Jesus. Blind them. Hallelujah. That's what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. The last thing that I'll do is to prophesy all round increase. All round increase. Amen. Listen. I know that we trivialize and we casualize things because we just speak, receive and move forward. I don't do anything except the Lord shows me. Hallelujah. A miracle service is put to upgrade your life, my brother. It's meant to upgrade your life. Therefore, inside and outside, release your faith one last time. As I send this prophetic word, into your destiny and isaac said of jacob he said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed therefore 
right now under this supernatural unction of the spirit inside and outside my brothers and my sisters let me tell you there is an anointing that brings increase won't let any man fool you you can try you can sweat you can calculate but there is an anointing he said because thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with the oil of gladness above thy fellows and in the name of jesus i command increase on every side increase on every side increase on every side in your finances increase in your relationship increase in your academics increase in your spiritual life increase in your ministry increase in your business increase in your plans and goals increase in your groups and fellowships increase I release it upon your life a signature that symbolizes the hand of God therefore let there be a mark of greatness upon everyone under the sound of my voice you are tonight from tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost you are marked for supernatural greatness you are marked for supernatural greatness I don't care what your family background is hear me I don't care what it, the name of your village is I don't care what has been spoken over your life every decree that is against the decree of the world over your life and destiny from tonight be free in the name of Jesus Amen. you are free from your past in the name of Jesus you are free from stagnation go forward go forward go forward go forward make progress break new grounds none of you is permitted to remain where you are go forward go forward every red sea standing in front of you everything that symbolizes a mountain of impossibility under this unction of the spirit right now i command be free go forward every oppression over your family that will not let them enjoy everything jesus died for tonight i command for your families step into a higher realm Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. every member of your family who does not have a job i don't care what the person's qualification is if god be king of kings and lord of lords i release miracle jobs now for yourself and for your loved ones receive it in the name of jesus and every of your family members that is due for promotion and has been kept back i don't care what the limitations are right now in the name of jesus we promote them receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah 
Hallelujah. I want to come against marital delay. Delay relationships and marriage. Kaparekebaya. Manto soto peketebalakai. Hear me. Inside and outside. According to Isaiah 34. Verse 16. It says, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these things shall fail. He said, none shall want her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Right now I declare. There are many of you that your loved ones at home. Are, they are advanced in age. And there's no one to get married to them. And they are giving all kinds of nonsense explanations. For it came to pass. That on that day. Esther passed the king once. When she passed the king once, that she obtained favor. Let me tell you something. No barrenness shall be found in this camp. So hear me. Right now, under the unction of the spirit, supernatural marriages, supernatural relationships, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Don't let the devil fool you and make you think this is not necessary. I said receive it in the name of Jesus. For I see a family of four and I see another family of six ladies. None of you are married. Hear me. If God be God and end comes to this oppression tonight in the name of Jesus. Until the spirit be poured out from on high and then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine for a forest and every other request that you came here with hear me inside and outside I don't care what your needs are many of us came with different kinds of requests right now I pray that you receive solution to every problem whatever challenge you came here with we end it here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus very quickly listen inside and outside everyone who can hear my voice you've not made Jesus Lord of your life please let me have some space here this is the greatest miracle all of these signs and wonders and miracles are for a reason the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son he said that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life he said come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I I alone will give you rest there are so many of us seated here outside and some of us passing some listening from our homes you need Jesus Christ enough of struggling with sin enough of struggling with the flesh enough of being a victim of the oppressions of Satan and right now I'm going to invite you I like all of us to rise up on our feet as we honor this great salvation inside and outside for Jesus the Lord of your life I like you to run inside right now you want to make Jesus Lord of your life come on inside and outside we are waiting for you appreciate them as they come enough is enough appreciate them every one of them let them find their way Jesus is the way. Appreciate them as they come. Inside and outside. Inside and outside. Don't stay back. He's calling you. Come on. Appreciate them. We love you. Welcome home. Inside and outside. Harden not your heart. Jesus is calling. Please ushers help the people outside. As they join this loving family of victorious people, how long will you struggle with the Holy Spirit? Jesus is calling. Jesus is calling. Appreciate them. 
as they come, come to Jesus. Leave your seat and run to Jesus Christ. He's the only hope. The only one. Every other plan will fail. The Holy Spirit is still convicting more people. Don't stay back. Harden not your heart. Run to Jesus Christ. We are still waiting for a few. We are still waiting for a few. Young and old. Come on. Leave your seat. I see a number of people outside who should be inside. By the Spirit of God, I call you to come forward. I call you to come forward. By the Spirit of God, I appreciate them. They are coming. Those of you outside, I see the Lord showing me people. By the Spirit of God, I call you. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. I call you by the authority of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I want to congratulate every one of you for coming here. Hallelujah. Look at me. I hope you came here by revelation and understanding. Hallelujah. That you need Jesus Christ. I don't care what it is you have done. Are you listening to me? No one condemns you. There is love in this place. Are you listening to me? For the Son of God did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. John 3 17 I pray for you right now hallelujah that the power of sin and Satan over your life be broken now I'd like you to say after me dear Lord Jesus I like you to it's not a special number it's a very serious destiny dedication are you listening to me say after me dear Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe you came to the earth you suffered for my sins you died for me you resurrected for me I've been living my life by my own strength but tonight I lay it all down and I accept you as Lord of my life I receive eternal life into my spirit I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God I have the resurrection life living inside of me I'm a member of the family of God and I declare that my life will bring you glory in the name of Jesus I appreciate them for this wonderful wonderful miracle hallelujah I pray that the Lord will keep and preserve you spirit of the living God I commend these ones to you you are the only faithful caretaker who can take care of the inheritance of the father I commend these ones to you the staying power against sin and against Satan against diseases and all oppressions of Satan in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah congratulations now I'd like you to do something very quickly just rise up congratulations every one of you thank you for making this wonderful and very glorious decision I'd like you to just follow the ushers they'll have your information and we'll just follow you up as the week goes by I appreciate them it's a glorious miracle Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come. Okay, I got, let me pray for you. I got your. Let her go. Now. 
let her go by the authority of the spirit of the living God mm, I see movement in your body interesting I bring you life, healing, power by the Spirit of God for you and for your loved ones. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.